Janaka Perura, Major General Janaka Perura, RWP, RSP, VSB, USP, VSB, RCDS, PSC, CR 1 February 1946, 6 October 2008, was a Sri Lankan general and politician. He served as the Chief of Staff of the Sri Lanka Army and is considered one of the most distinguished generals in Sri Lankan history. After retiring from the army he served as a Sri Lankan High Commissioner to Australia and Ambassador to Indonesia. He was the opposition leader of the North Central Provincial Council until he and his wife were killed on 6 October 2008 by a suicide bomber. The LTT have been blamed for the bombing by Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapaksa. Education General Perura was educated at St. John's College, Panajura, and after St. Joseph's College, Colombo. He was accepted to University of Ceylon to study geology at the Peridinia campus before quitting to join the Sri Lanka Army in 1966 as an officer cadet. He received his training at the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst in England. After completing his training, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the 1st Field Engineer Regiment, Ceylon Engineers. Later, he transferred to the newly formed Commando Regiment. Major General Puraria is a graduate of the Defense Services Staff College and the Royal College of Defense Studies. Military Career he first saw action during the 1971 JVP insurrection as lieutenant and was promoted to captain in 1973. He was promoted to major in 1977, lieutenant colonel in 1986 and colonel in 1988, serving as the commanding officer, 5 Field Engineer Regiment, Chief Instructor, Sri Lanka Military Academy, and Military Liaison Officer, Ministry of Defense. Second JVB insurrection. As a colonel, Janaka Perura took a significant role in suppressing the JVP insurrection of 1987-89. He was the provincial commander of the northwestern province as well as being in charge of the special operations of the Operation Combine in Colombo, which led to the capture of the JVP leader Rohana Wajwira. He was promoted to brigadier in 1989. He went on to command the 24 Brigade. He got parachute qualified in 1990. Well, yeah. In 1995, Brigadier Perer was Brigade Commander of the Independent Special Forces Brigade when he was transferred to Welly Oya as the Brigade Commander, 6 Welly Oya Brigade, in May 1995. He preparation and command of the brigade during the Battle of Welly Oya in July 1995 resulted in a major victory for the army killing over 300 LTT carters while losing only two soldiers. At the time of the battle, 6 Brigade was made up of mostly reservists from volunteer regiments. Soon after the victory, he was transferred to command the Elite Reserve Strike Force RSF which consisted of special forces commando and air mobile units in Jaffna. Operation Revirsa Few months later in late 1995, Brigadier Puria played a major role during Operation Revirsa, which led to the liberation of the Jaffna Peninsula, during which he commanded the Elite 53 Division, which consisted of the Independent Brigade, Air Mobile Brigade, Armored Brigade, and an Infantry Brigade. Higher Command in 1996, he was promoted to the rank of Major General. He served as General Officer Commanding of the 53 Division, 51 Division, Tohiri Division. Later, he was promoted to the post of Deputy Chief of Staff and functioned as Commandant, Sri Lanka Army Command and Staff College. Defense of Jaffna Following the Second Battle of Elephant Pass in April 2000, which forced the Sri Lankan army units in Jaffna to fall back due to lack of fixed defense positions. During this time, there were fears in Colombo that the 40,000 troops in the Jaffna Peninsula would be cut off, trapped, and overrun. President Chandrika Bandaranaik Kumaratan negotiated with the Indian government for ships to evacuate troops, from the peninsula due to the lack of transport ships in the Navy. However, 
the Indian government refused to provide ships, launching several effective counter-offensives that halted the LTT advance, removing the threat to the Jaffna Peninsula, and succeeded in established the defense line in the Jaffna Peninsula, which remained in place till the last days of the war. Chief of Staff Major General Janakapura was appointed as Chief of Staff of the Army in 2000 but retired in 2001 when he was overlooked for promotion to Army Commander, causing him to retire in 2001. He had the unique distinction of being the Colonel Commandant of the Commando Regiment, Special Forces Regiment, and the Corps of Sri Lanka Engineers. Decorations Major General Janakapura had been awarded the gallantry medals Rana Wakrama Padakama and Rana Sura Padakama, the Distinguished Service Medal the Vicious Deseva Vibhashanaya, Long Service Medals Atamaseva Padakama, Sri Lanka Armed Services Long Service Medal, Foreign Service Medal Vaijaseva Padakama, Combat Service Medals Purnav. Diplomatic Career Following his retirement, he was made Sri Lanka's High Commissioner to Australia and later Sri Lanka's Ambassador to Indonesia, but was recalled before his term ended. Accusation of war crime after he was appointed Sri Lanka's High Commissioner to Australia. The Tamil community there accused him of being responsible for hundreds of deaths and the torture of Tamils in the Jaffna Peninsula when he was in command. About 300 Tamils protested outside the Australian Parliament accusing General Purr of war crimes. The human rights group Amnesty International raised similar concerns. However, no formal charges were ever brought against General Purr, and he served his full four years as Sri Lankan High Commissioner in Australia, after which he was Sri Lankan Ambassador to Indonesia. Political Career since his retirement from his diplomatic career, General Purr took up active politics as a member of North Central Provincial Council. During the 2008 North Central Provincial Council election, which he claimed to be marred by violence, he was as the UNP candidate for the post of Chief Minister for the North Central Province, although he gained the most preferential votes his party failed to gain a majority in the council, therefore became the leader of the opposition of the North Central Provincial Council. Family Janakapura married Vajira de Silva, who was one of the first six lady officers to join the Sri Lanka Army Women's Corps in 1982. Vajira trained at the Women's Royal Army Corps College in 1980 and had reached the rank of major before her retirement from the Army. Her brother, Lieutenant Eupold de Silva, who had also joined the army was killed in action. Janaka and Vajira Purur had three children together, Janakshi, Shahara, and Ashanka. Death Assassination Janaka Purur and his wife were killed by a suspected suicide bomb blast on 6 October 2008 in Anuradhapura. The bombing which occurred at the United National Party office near the old bus stand in Anuradhapura killed about 27 civilians and politicians while injuring 90 more. The dead included four UNP provincial councillors and former Sri Lankan ambassador and UNP party manager in Anuradhapura Dr. Raja Jampal and his wife. The government blamed the attack on the liberation tigers of Tamil Elam. The UNP and opposition leader Ranul Wickremessing has asked for an international investigation on the death of Janakapura and numerous others. Request for security. The government has been blamed by Wickramessing and others for not providing adequate security for General Perura, who had to ask the Supreme Court for protection during the provincial council election when the government candidate was given security and he was not. Two weeks prior to the assassination, Janaka Perura had complained to the superintendent of police Anurad Hapura for security having received information on a threat to his life. He had cited that he had received a detail of seven police officers prior to the provincial elections on a Supreme Court order and had been withdrawn by the government. His lawyers had been preparing a fundamental rights petition in the Supreme Court the week he was assassinated. Funeral, well, funeral, funeral. 
after laying in Anurad Hapura for the public to pay their respects, the coffins of Major General Janakapura and his wife Vajirapura were transported to Colombo to their residence in Kurlapung. On 11 October 2008, the coffins were taken by procession to the Colombo General Cemetery, where the coffin of Major General Janakapura was transferred to a gun carriage of the Sri Lanka artillery and final rites carried out with full military honors. Aftermath On 5 September 2014, the Anurad Hapura High Court sentenced the first accused in the bombing, Sanuganathan Sudharan, who was linked to the LTTE suicide wing to a 20-year rigorous imprisonment, having been found guilty on two counts of conspiring and abetment to suicide bombing. The accused had pleaded guilty on 22 August 2014. The second accused, Hamir Umer, was sentenced to life in prison by the Anurad Hapura Special High Court. Umer had pleaded not guilty to the charges and the case was transferred to the Anurad Hapura Special High Court in September 2015 on a directive by the Chief Justice. 